To try fluently and make as few mistakes as possible, you need to optimize your fingers' movements as much as possible. The thumbs should always be on the space bar. You simply need to hit the key with a quick and short keystroke. You don't have to lift them to press the home row keys and the space bar. The keys commonly considered the hardest are those that we press with the ring fingers in a home row, the S and the L, because unlike the other fingers, with this we do not usually do anything in our daily lives. That is why it's common to press two keys at the same time. So, you have to make an effort to avoid it. With practice, you will get it. People who play certain musical instruments don't have this problem because they already have their fingers trained to move independently. Check the independence of your fingers by practicing this exercise from time to time. Remember, the spacebar is pressed with the hand opposite to the last key pressed. If you press the key before the space with your right hand, you will press the spacebar with your left thumb, and vice versa. If you press the key before the space with your left hand, you will press the spacebar with your right thumb. If you don't have your thumbs on the spacebar, you are wasting time and losing concentration. For example, after typing SAS semicolon, you should press the spacebar with your left thumb. S A S semicolon space. After typing D A D A, you should press the spacebar with your right thumb. D A D a space. Now you should be fully focused to hit each key correctly. Over time you will be able to move your fingers automatically and unconsciously. It's very likely that you will have to make three attempts to advance to the next exercise. It's the usual thing for the vast majority of students who start from scratch. So. If you make too many mistakes or think you're typing too slowly, don't get hung up on it. You're learning. In the next exercise, you will already be able to type single words. Come on, good luck! This video is a lesson from the interdidactica.com typing course. You can register for free to record the results of your exercises, or you can also do them on your own. It's available in other languages and on different keyboards. If you're watching it on YouTube, you have the links to sign up, to start the course on your own and to do this exercise in the description. And don't forget to subscribe, give it a like and leave your questions and comments below. Enjoy learning!